Time to enjoy ourselves. After a few warm-up exercises, the gang was ready to have fun and play on the beach. Lloyd, together with Rixia, went into the water to give Kia and Sully swimming lessons. Aww. <laughs> How nice. That's perfect, Kia. Keep it up and you'll have it down. Really? I think I get it. Let me try it on my own, Lloyd. Uh, are you sure? Alright, off you go. Wow. Whoa. You sure you've never swum before, Kia? You look like a pro. Mm, I don't think so. Look at Shorty go. I want to learn how to do that too, Rixia. <laughs> sure thing. The next step is to make sure you're not over-relying on your upper body strength. It's fine, Sully. Hey, there you go. You got it. You girls catch on quick. Sure do. It's just swimming. Not like we're doing anything impressive. Hey, some people don't know how to swim. Like, I technically don't know how to swim. I did take swimming lessons as a kid, but uh, nowadays I'm too tall. <laughs> too tall for to really put it into practice. Hey, Sully, let's swim to that rock over there. Why should we do that? <laughs> Make sure uh, to be careful. You can uh, go to that rock, but no further. Okay, you two? Got it. Fine, I'll go with you already. And away they go. <clears throat> hey, at least they learned. Uh, are you sure that's not too far? You think they're going to be alright? <laughs> they should. The water here is fairly shallow, so I think they'll be fine even out there. Kia truly is amazing, you know. She's full of surprises. It's impressive how quickly she took to the water. Yeah, it was like she already had the muscle memory of swimming before. Sully learned the ropes really fast, too. Didn't she say she'd never gone swimming before today? That's right. It reminds me of how explosive and flexible she is during practice and rehearsal. She's the type that can see things done once, uh, see things done once and get it immediately. Is that so? I take it she's been working hard since joining the troop. That reminds me, Arkansas is putting on an updated version of the show, right? Oh, right. Well, it's ultimately still Golden Sun Silver Moon, you remember. But in the new rendition, Sully will be starring as a third princess. She's been added to all the main scenes. That's incredible. It's amazing that she, uh, she's getting a major role so quickly, especially after what happened when we first met her. <laughs> I'm proud of her. I think Sully's tenacity has meshed perfectly with Ilya's guidance. Perhaps better than I have. Huh? <laughs> it's nothing. I'm just a little winded from teaching is all. I think I'll go back to the others and rest. Feel free. You earned it. We still have plenty of time left at the beach, so let's enjoy while we can. Well said. <clears throat> So how early did they get here? Like, so, so the thing closed at noon. So, what time did we get here? A smile that cute in a swimsuit should be illegal. Wait, what am I thinking? Snap out of it. There's still a lot of time left until noon, so I think I'll check in with the others. Uh-oh. Kia and Sully are nowhere to be found. Oh, we got a volleyball match going. Let's see. It looks like we have Team Team CGF versus Team uh, Overly Sexual. <gasps> I don't. I don't know. Tio and Fran are just building a sand castle. I expected Kia to be doing that. Then we get uh, Ellie. Cecile and Rixia just, you no, know, uh, relaxing in the chair. And then we got this guy. He is of no concern to us. Alright, uh, 
I know I'm being overly cautious with the saving, but it makes me feel better. Also, there's something I'm looking for. What? Okay, so there is something here. Again, out of the sand for just a moment, guys. What is down this path, and who is down along it? It's a cat. Wait. I feel like I've seen this black cat somewhere before. I wonder if it's hungry. Here you go. You can have this if you want. Elizabeth. The cat is named, but I don't recognize it. And Lloyd said it looked familiar. You were really hungry, weren't you? <laughs> a book? You're a cat. What were you doing? Uh, where were you hiding this? Well, thanks, I guess. Given it is so close to the beat, uh, so close to these chairs, it could have just had, uh, it could have just pulled it from out from under it. We got more beaches. Is it like a private beach? Is that where all the <clears throat> stuff goes down? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I know, I know. Everyone doesn't have to bloody remind me that all the girls here are beautiful. Alright? Alright, so everyone should be fine, right? They're really getting into this. Oh, hello, Lloyd. Is everything okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to interrupt. I was wondering what you two were up to. Oh, don't worry about it. You're not interrupting. And can't you see? We're making a sand castle. Think of it like arts and crafts, but with sand. However, it is not going as planned. Everything we... Uh, make collapses like ancient Zemuria. I can see why that would be frustrating. Say, Lloyd, uh, you're here. We're here. Want to help us out a little? Huh? Me? We may be able to make more progress if we have your assistance. Let's do it. Sure, I'm down. If you uh, two think I can help, then I'll do what I can. Aw, thanks, Lloyd. I, know, I knew we could count on you. If you say so, but I'm a total rookie at this. We are as well. To our new sand architectural firm. Oh hey, we even built part of a wall. We're making some good progress. We are. We will be done short. This is harder than I had anticipated. Yeah, it's because the sand might be just too fine. Maybe the problem is that the sand isn't strong enough? Strong? What do you mean? We put water in, this, uh, in the sand buckets to help with the foundation, though. Okay, but it dries out as soon as you do anything with it, right? I think it, uh, it'll be better to add water as you're building, too. That is a good point. We should try that. How much water should we add each time? Hmm, let me think. A whole lot, a medium amount, just a little. No one told me there are going to be choices. Just a little. Just a little, I think. All you need is enough to keep the sand moist. If you add too much, the sand will still lose its strength and become mushy. Oh, that makes sense. I get it now. Thank you for the advice, Lloyd. We will try that. It is nearly done. Thanks to Lloyd's advice. I'm glad I could help. Now we have to add the finishing touches. We need to improve the shape of the main part of the castle. Do you have any recommendations, Lloyd? You want me to decide? Okay, let me think. We're counting on you, Lloyd. Give us an idea that will make this ca sand castle sparkle. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm under pressure? It's just a sand castle. Okay, we use water to strengthen the sand, but it still has its limits. If this uh, thing is going to stay upright, 
We're gonna have to pack it with uh, the right power and speed, but how much? Uh, quickly and gently, slowly and strongly, slowly and gently, quickly and strongly. Uh, I've built sand castles before. You want to be gentle, but also quick. I think I'll try quickly and gently. Oh, that should do it. It, it really is done. Ha, <laughs> we did it. The sense of accomplishment is washing over me. Thank you, Lloyd. <laughs> Don't mention it. You two did most of the heavy lifting. Nah, uh we've had, uh, we never have never finished had you not come along, Lloyd. Thanks for helping us. Thank you for your support as well, Zayt. You also helped by bringing us sand and water. Thanks for lending a pause, Zayt. By the way, did you two settle on a name for the castle? A name? You went through a lot of trouble to build it, right? I think it's only right to give the castle a name to remember it by. This is an excellent point, but what should it be? How about Michi Castle? Hey, Tio, that's not fair. I think it should be Ban Ban Castle. On one hand, you have uh, everyone's favorite crossbow celebrity, Michi. And on the other, Ban Ban is the name of your stuffed bear, right, Fran? I don't like them both. A castle can only have one name, however. You are going to have to break this uh, tie, Lloyd. Which is better? Good idea. You decide, Lloyd. Give us, uh, give it to us straight, and the loser will have no objections. Way to put me on the spot. This is a big responsibility. Well, if you say so. Um. Oh, great. I have to literally make a choice. Um, Wheel of Morality. Ow! Don't hurt me. Wheel of Morality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell me how I'm going to die tonight. And stop. Mishy Castle it is. Well, this is a trip to Michelin. I think it's only fitting we go with Mishy Castle. <sighs> I hadn't thought of it like that. Oh well, I'll let you have this one, Tio. Thank you, Fran. I'm glad we could settle that peacefully. Oh, that's right. You two have better uh, have been working on this for a while, haven't you? Are you thirsty? I can bring some drinks by later. Anything you want? Something to drink. It is not necessarily a beverage, but may I order the shaved ice from the concession stand? Oh, that sounds perfect. Will you get one for each of us, Lloyd? No problem. How about you, Zeit? Want a hot dog? He would like the hot dog. <laughs> okay, one hot dog for the dog. Got it. There is no need to rush, however. We can wait a little while. If you want to check in with the others first, do not let us hold you up. Alright, I'll see you two later. Okay, uh, next up, volleyball. Oh. Oh, wow. All right. Huh. <laughs> Should have known. I couldn't even see the ball. You contorted your entire body to deliver that spike. Is there nothing that Ilya Platier doesn't excel at? <laughs> Why, thank you. That was amazing. Oh, hey there, little guy. Were you, uh, watching? How'd you like that killer move? It was seriously impressive. Pretty damn awesome is more like it. That dig on uh, my spike was good too. Weezy also made an excellent assist and set Ilya up perfectly. Eh, it was a fluke from a total beginner. You two had more impressive teamwork. From the little bit that I saw, you guys looked uh, like you were playing at a uh, high level. I'm impressed. You might even be good enough to play competitively and contend for a championship. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far, or if it'd be that easy, but it could be fun to try. Say, why don't you join us for the next game? Sure. 
Alright, I accept. I hope I'm not imposing. The only thing is, I'm a total rookie. I don't even know all the rules. The basics are just like regular volleyball. The main difference is that it's two on two, and it's played on sand, obviously. Typically, it's uh, first team to 21 points uh, wins the set. This is just uh, all fun and games, so what do you say to a friendly first to 12 exhibition? Oh, alright, sounds good to me. Mm, excuse me. Okay, that's enough of the nitty gritty. What do you say we decide the teams? With Lloyd joining, that leaves one person over to be the ref. Ah, my bad. I forgot me joining would throw off, uh, the balance off. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're the guest of honor, little guy. You can pick who you want to partner up with. Alright. Oh, no. Um. Why? Why are you giving me the options? Ah, uh, wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. Don't let me die tonight. <laughs> okay. Ilya it is. I'm counting on you, Ilya. Good choice, little guy. Now we just have to decide uh, the other uh, the other team and who the ref will be. How about rock, paper, scissors? That should be fair. The, that works. Let's get that out of the way now. The results of the rock, paper, scissors game led to Wazy being the referee. Well, that was simple. <laughs> the match was set. Lloyd and Ilya versus Randy and Noel. <clears throat> I don't really have a team for... <clears throat> Ilya and uh, Lloyd. <clears throat> oh boy. Use uh, strength to toss it high, toss low for better control. Uh, toss it high. <laughs> well done. Man, partnering with Ilya ain't fair. She's an athletic freak. I never had a chance to, uh, at a block with that height. All too easy. That was a nice setup, little guy. Good job. Thanks. I had a feeling you'd be able to handle it with your uh, vertical. <laughs> a good assumption. Come on, if we keep this up, we're going to uh, sweep them off the beach. Game set. Lloyd and Ilya win 12 to 4. Well played, you two. Yes, the win's ours. Wow, that was exciting. Yeah, it was great. I guess that wraps things up, doesn't it? I'm off to get myself a drink. Not so fast. We can still play one more game. You're tagging in this time. That's a good idea. Don't tell me you're fine with just playing rough, Wazy. I don't really care either way, to be honest. But if you insist, if you really want me to play, then I'll keep you entertained for a while. <laughs> then it's decided. Okay, you pick who you want to be your partner this time, little guy. Let me think. Oh, so I get two choices. Um... Let's go, Randy. You're up next, Randy. I hope you've got my back. You got it, bud. Another round of rock, paper, scissors led to Ilya refereeing the second game. Oh great, so now it's a uh, free-for-all for, -all for uh, the SSS. <clears throat> team veterans versus team newbies. Even I don't really know uh, much about uh, volleyball. Let's set Randy up for a spike. Woo! Nice one, Randy. That was well done. Oh boy. It's hard to play defense with there being such a height difference. Nice assist, Lloyd. 
can always count on you to facilitate your teammates. Huh, all I did was set you up. <clears throat> Alright, we can take control of the game. Game set. My favorite little guy and Randy take this one 12 to 8. Alright, we've won. That was so much fun. Splitting the team, uh, teams up once Lloyd came over ended in some fun pairings. I had a lot of fun too. It was hard to play two games in a row though. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. What's really tough is that there hasn't been a single instance of wardrobe malfunction. I thought Noelle would uh, be clumsy enough to slip out of her top. That was, uh, that's what I was thinking. That would explain why uh, you wanted to play beach volleyball so badly. Randy, Wazy, I'm not that much of a clutch. Jeez. I can't help but notice that Ilya wanted that just as much. Oh, is anyone else uh, feeling as parched as I am? I could buy us all drinks at the stand if you want. That's my favorite little guy. So considerate. Let's, let me see. I heard there's some uh, special drink that's exclusive to Michelin. Oh yeah, I heard about that too. It's a soft drink called Bell Cola. Supposedly, it's really bubbly and refreshing. Sounds good to me. Alright, four Bell Colas it is. Yes, please. Don't feel you need to rush. You can visit with the others first. Sure thing. I'll bring them, uh, bring them by for everyone later. Oh, I just walked past it. <laughs> it's hard not to get, like, a vibe that Ilium. Ilya definitely strikes me as, like, bisexual. Maybe even homo. I don't know, but that's just me guessing. Oh, okay. I thought for a second. I thought Tio was trying to bury Zite. <laughs> you know how like people do at the beaches? They'll leave the head exposed and then just bury people. Okay. Hello. Hello there, Lloyd. Checking in with everyone? Something like that. Are you, uh, are all... Are you all going to Sunbay, Cecile? I don't think I've seen you or Ellie go into the water yet. Are you at least having fun? We are. Even simply relaxing here is plenty enjoyable. I'm relishing in the opportunity to catch up with Ellie and Rixia. <laughs> it's been fun talking, save for one small topic that keeps coming up. Cecile keeps asking me how things are going between you and me. That's true. I'm not sure what to make of it. Seal, I thought we've been over this. <laughs> I'm just curious is all. It's a big sister's duty to check in on how her little brother's love life is going. I need to know who my future sister-in-law is going to be as soon as possible. No, you do not. That's still a long ways away. She isn't di uh, that different from Ilya. They are childhood best friends, I suppose. Well, okay. In the meantime, would you like to join us for some sunbathing? There's an empty chair for you to join uh, in our girl talk. I'm not sure about that one. It'd be... It'd feel embarrassing to butt in. <clears throat> I think I'll pass. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. There's nothing to be embarrassed uh, about between friends. That's true. I wouldn't have minded catching up with you as well. I'm flattered. I really am, but come on. Hmm, in that case, we'll let you go, but only if you agree to put sunscreen on each of us. Sun... what? What are you thinking, Cecile? I'm not sure about this. <laughs> What's so wrong with that? I don't have any problems with it. 
And don't you both, uh, didn't you both say earlier that you wanted to avoid sunburns today? Besides, Ellie, you just said there's nothing to be embarrassed about between friends. I, I know, but... Fine. I'm a woman of my word, so you go ahead, Lloyd. Uh, Ellie? Look, everyone else is too busy playing. You're the only one that's free. It's true that I don't want to be sunburned. And I'd rather it be you than someone like Randy. That is true. Ilya was also worried about sunburns, so I put hers on back at the hotel. I wouldn't mind so much if it were Lloyd, though. I know we can trust you. You too, Rixia? <laughs> now do you get it, Lloyd? These lovely ladies and their skin need you. You wouldn't want to let them down, would you? <sighs> Lloyd, I don't know what you do. Ah, uh, screw it. They're going to If I choose the other one, they're just going to convince me, aren't they? It's a butt down must. We have to have something like this in a beach scene, don't we? Fine, I can handle this. You better not handle anything, mister. <laughs> Even I'm starting to feel a little nervous. Good. Let's get started. There's just one question. Which of us would uh, you like to start with, Lloyd? Uh... Uh, left to right? Okay, I guess I'll start with Ellie. M me Fine, but watch your hands, okay? I'll be careful. Uh, <laughs> here goes nothing. Sorry, are you okay? I'm fine. I was just surprised how cold it is. You can keep going. Alright. Uh, this is more stressful than I could have imagined. This would be easier if you weren't so pretty, Ellie. With your fair skin and that pearly gray hair. Hey, why are you getting quiet all of a sudden? You had better not be thinking anything, uh... Untoward? Never heard that word. Untoward right now. I would never. I'm not careful. Today's going to end with Maria Bell dropping me in the middle of the lake. Come on, Lloyd Bannings. You can do this. Just empty your mind. Lloyd, your face is starting to look like the Jizo statue on East Street. <laughs> Don't forget that after you're done rubbing Ellie down, you have to do me and Rixia too. I still can't believe that uh, it just happened. Talk about a view. Ah, thank you, Lloyd. That was just what we needed. <laughs> I might fall asleep and have a pleasant dream at this rate. I don't think you want to fall asleep with your top like that, Cecile. Uh, I think you should care a little more about your surroundings. Ah, uh, but I'm so comfortable. Well, okay. How about I bring a few cold drinks to perk you all up? You do that? It's the least I could do. If anyone here has been dreaming, it's been me for the last several minutes. I'm starting to get a little nervous that Idios is going to make me answer for this later. <laughs> Don't worry, Lloyd. I'm pretty sure you're safe. Ow. Sorry. I gotta adjust every once in a while. M Lloyd? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. So how do a few virgin cocktails sound? That would be lovely. Oh, but don't feel like you, uh, you have to hurry. You can take your time and have fun with the others if you want. Thanks. Might just do that. See you all soon. Ah. <sighs> okay, so... We've got pretty much everyone down. Ah, hey, Sully and Kia. Watch out, too. Oh, yours is so pretty, Sully. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. This rock is kind of weird, though. I've never seen anything like it. Hey, you two. What have you been up to? Ah, Lloyd, take a look at this. 
Isn't it pretty? Wow, it's perfectly round and pure white. It's almost like a jewel. It almost looks like a jewel, doesn't it? Where'd you find this? Short Stuff picked it up uh, earlier when she was swimming. I thought there had been uh, had to be others, so we've been scouring the beach for them. The lifeguard over there said they're called uh, White Stones. Hmm, I think the sand here has brought in a... Uh, I think the sand here was brought in from a foreign country. Stones too, probably. I bet they were mixed in with the sand. There might even be a few big ones buried in it. Really? Hey, let's look for... Uh, let's all look for more white stones. And whoever finds the biggest one wins. <laughs> Sounds interesting. You'll be playing too, of course. Alright. Sure, I'm here, so I may as well play along. Then it's decided. Okay, tell me once you found a white stone. Once everyone has one, we'll compare, and whoever has the biggest one wins. <laughs> Got it. Then on your marks, get set, go! I'm gonna find the biggest one in, on the whole beach. As if, there's no way I'm letting you two beat me. Okay, so we're in a competition. Okay, um... Let's see. Hello. Whoa, this one is huge. It's the size of a crystal ball. <laughs> There's no way I can lose with one like this. Uh... What are you up to, Lloyd? I'm playing a little game with Kia and Sully. Hey, is that... Sully, uh, Lloyd reached under the, underneath the deck chair. Wait a second. Got it. Never would have expected one this big to be here. This one is a game winner for sure. Lloyd, what were you thinking, reaching your hand down there without any warning? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> Honestly. Uh. Yeah, so. Apparently, those are the two biggest. Hey, Lloyd, have you found any white stones yet? I wonder where the biggest one is. I already found it. They're mine. Alright, now to find Sully. Because she's the one who ends this game. There's Tio and uh, Fran. There's there's our volleyball goers. Sully. Okay, so she's still on the beach, but I don't see her. All right, so she's not in that corner. Oh, what if she's on the other corner? Ah, yeah, there she is. Oh, did you find one? Should we compare the sizes of our white stones? Uh, challenge. Yeah, let's do this. Really? You're full of confidence, aren't you? I'll go call Shorty then. Hope you're ready to cry. Okay, let's compare sizes. On the count of three, show the biggest stone that you could find. You got it. Ready to go. Here goes nothing. Whoa! Lloyd's white stone is ginormous! Where did you even find one that big? Dang, mine doesn't even come close. <laughs> I guess I win this time. Whatever, it was just a game for kids. You play too, you know. I still can't believe you found one so big and pretty. I was hoping to find one that looked like that. Yeah, I kind of want to keep looking. Really? How about I just give you guys uh, these two white stones as presents? Really? Uh, are you sure? And did you just say you found two? Yeah, I found another one that's about the same size. What do you say? They can be mementos uh, from our beach trip to get today. Hmm. Thanks. 
<laughs> I'll treasure it. Well, that's over. So, Kia Sully, do you two want something to drink? Huh? Are you going to get drinks, Lloyd? Yeah, you two have been playing in the water for a while now. You must be getting tired, right? If there's anything you want to eat or drink, just let me know. That's nice of you, I guess. Hmm, well... Ah, uh, can I have some ice cream from the snack shop? Just ice cream? <laughs> sure, I can do that. Then I'll have some too. We can keep playing for a bit, so it's okay if you don't bring it right away. Gotcha. Okay, I'll see the two of you later. It's great to see that everyone is having a good time and feeling a lot, a lot more relaxed. Although, I am starting to feel a bit parched myself. I promised that I'd treat all of them to drinks and snacks later. I should do that. go do that now. The snack shop is just upstairs. I think I'll go scope it out. Okay. Let's, uh, let's actually go get stuff now. Welcome. Are you enjoying your beach reservation? I think we all are. Today's been a lot of fun. Actually, I came up here to order something for everyone. Sure thing. We're all set up, so let me know how I can help you. Alright. Wait, I just realized I left my wallet back at the locker room. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. It's on the house. Miss Maria Bell already covered the expenses with the reservation and said to serve you anything you want. She, she did? I'll give Maria Bell credit where it's due. She's nothing if not scarily thorough. Huh, <laughs> true. So the only charge today is a word of thanks. Well, what can I get you folks? Once you place your order, the beach event will end and the story will advance. Uh... Let's do it. Alright, let me see. We'll take four Bell Colas, three Virgin Cocktails, two orders of ice cream, and two orders of shaved ice. Oh, and one hot dog too, please. Wow, you plan to carry all of that in one trip? They've got you working, huh? Let me guess, you're the type that's always putting others before yourself, even to a fault? No. <laughs> I haven't the slightest idea what you can mean by that. Totally is. And so everyone had a fun time at the beach. After enjoying their refreshments, Lloyd and the others split a watermelon to enjoy to get uh, to enjoy together. Ah, uh, did they do like pinata watermelon? They then savored lunch uh, lunch boxes that were delivered by the hotel as their excitement for the afternoon started to build. Man, I'm poofed after all that playing, but that was a blast. My only regret is that we didn't get to play volleyball with Cecile or Rixia, too. Why them specific- Wait, Randy! I didn't say nothing. You want to share with the class what you were thinking just now? <laughs> Way to turn it around. But you'd know, wouldn't you? I can't believe you seriously got to put sunscreen on Cecile, Mademoiselle, and Rixia. Stop holding now. How was it? Well, it was definitely an experience I'm not going to forget anytime soon. What? Lloyd, you lucky normie son of a bitch. Let me uh, leave some for the rest of us. Dude, how many girls from the freaking hospital are you freaking flirting around with? Oh, I heard, bro I heard bones cracking. Randy, you've gone too far. Wait, I give, I give. Spell it, Lloyd. You can only pick one, so who is it? Which of them knocked uh, you dead with their swimsuit? <laughs> what? Well, I guess if I had to pick, uh, it would be... Uh... <laughs> you did. <gasps> um... I really don't have... I don't really have a preference. Like, well, not really. I don't have a preference because I definitely do, but I don't know what to pick. Um, go away, mouse. Uh, uh, 
I definitely am not going to pick like Wheezy, Randy, or Sully. Uh, or Kia, because two of them are s creepy, and the other uh, the other two I don't swing that way. <laughs> um, I guess this is to build bonding points. Thing is, I don't really know. I feel like Ellie has the least, considering, like, like I've used everyone else's like uh, combo crafts. But I've barely used alleys. If that makes any sense. Screw it. Hmm. I've always known that Ellie had a nice figure, but seeing her today, this is bad. I really need to not think about this when we're back on duty. What in Adios's name are the two of you making so much noise over? Wazy, yo, what? Did you speed change again? You two are the ones taking forever because you're too caught up in your wild, youthful fantasies. If you have uh, time to be standing here, you have time to actually go get uh, one of those girls, right? How is she ever going to know how you feel if you don't show her you're interested? What? No, that's not what we were talking about. Listen, I'm not saying you're wrong, but where do you get off looking down on us? Because unlike you two, I know what I'm doing when it comes to women. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm going back to the hotel room. I'd like the chance to rest a little before heading to the theme park. Adieu. Okay, uh, ah, that bastard. Not only did he change behind our backs again, then he comes over and puts us in our place. Maybe he, uh, it has something to do with the crowd he hangs around. He still sometimes goes out uh, at night to do his host job, even while working with the SSS. You lucky piece of... I mean, that's inappropriate. He's an officer of the law, too. We've got a duty to make sure he stays in line. What do you think you're fooling right now? Honestly, Randy, I'm surprised you're not going out late into the night. And again, you've already got, like, what, those three hospital nurses? Three, four, whatever it was. Lloyd and the others then returned to the ho uh, hotel for a quick rest. I almost said hospital. It was decided they'd gather in front of the theme park once everyone was done uh, shopping downstairs. Excuse me, boys. Do you have a moment? Hey, Ellie. What's up? Going already? Illy and the others invited me to go shopping with them before heading to the park. The thing is... Have you two seen Kia around by any chance? Kia? Is something up with Kido? Kia said... Uh, she was going to your room, but she's obviously not here. Where could she have gone? We haven't seen her either. Maybe she's playing with Tio Todd and Zai. That could be it. Sorry to interrupt. I'll keep looking for her. Wait a second, Ellie. Did you say Ilya and the others are waiting for you downstairs? You go on ahead. I'll take over looking for Kia. Are you sure? Yeah, no sense in relying on you guys all the time. I can handle this uh, one on my own. I'll find her and meet uh, the rest of you at the park. Well, okay, I suppose. I wanted to take Kia shopping too. Huh, <laughs> that's Keto for you. Always the center of attention. So, should we get looking? I said uh, I could handle it on my own. Plus, don't you want to do some shopping too, Randy? You sure? All right, I'm going to the jewelry store. Give me a holler if you need a hand. Will do. Bye everyone. Don't miss me too much. Okay, time to look for Kia. I can't say for sure whether or not she's left the hotel. If I don't find her here, I'll have to look around the rest of Michelin. 
All right. Operation Find Kia is a go. Hey, girls. Hmm. What should I do until it's time to meet up? Going to the bo uh, boutique with Frank could be nice, but... Something to matter, Noel? Oh, Lloyd. Uh, well, the thing is... I feel a little insecure after seeing how well some of the others filled out their swimsuits at the beach. I'm starting to feel a little... I uh, feel anxious at the idea of trying on clothes in front of them. You're overthinking it, Noel. As much as I'd uh, like to compliment you, this one's way out of Detective Banning's jurisdiction. <laughs> Probably for the best. Huh? What's uh, that you have attached to your ornament? It's my Missy strap, of course. Oh, so that's the Missy guy everyone talks about. I guess this is the first time I've uh, put two and two together. First time? Yeah, I've heard his name a lot, but I didn't uh, know what he was, uh, what that was, uh, what he looked like. Keep calm, Sully. This is now a state of emergency. We have precious little time to enlighten you. <laughs> How can one possibly expect to step foot in Missy's land of dreams and wishes without knowing him? Time is of the essence. I will have Sully converted before we head there. What are you looking at me like that for? Is what I said that weird? You know, it's chill as ever, huh? No one in here. And no one in here. Hello, Lloyd. Hey, Rixia. Still relaxing in your room? Figured you would have gone to the boutique with Ellie and the others. I guess I'm still tired from all the playing we did at the beach. I plan to join them after taking a little rest. Oh, okay. Still a lot of time before we're supposed to meet uh, at the park. Relax as much as you'd like. I think I'll do that. And no one in there, huh? Okay. Downstairs we go. Let's see. I doubt they're in any of the other rooms. Uh, let's... Let's see. That's the beach area. That's Michelin. That's the dock. It looked like something was uh, bothering that little girl just now. Is she going to be okay? Little girl? Could it be? Excuse me, the little girl you saw, did she happen to have green hair? Yes, she did. Are you her guardian? That's right. You know uh, how it is. Take your eyes off them for a second and they disappear. Do you mind telling me where she went? Sure. She came through here a few minutes ago and was walking towards the villas. She seemed very troubled and dazed, I'd say. She did? What could have, uh, what could cause Kia to act this way? Never mind that. You need to search the residential area right away. Kia! Stop running off on your own. Aww. Aw, young love. Little pushy young love, but still young love. Still can't go into any of these houses. There she is. Oh yeah, this is where we found her. There, there she is. 
Hey, Kia. What are you doing here? Lloyd! Speaker Hartman's old mansion. Now, the state guest house. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Do you remember, Kia? We escaped here the night we met. <laughs> How can I forget? Those are the earliest memories I have. I know. Hey, Lloyd. This is as far back as I can remember, but this isn't where I came from, right? It was somewhere else? Yeah. Has it been on your mind? The truth of your origins, I mean? Yes. It's been bothering me more and more lately. All of you told me that I was born a long time ago. It wasn't until recently that I finally understood what that means. So that's what it is. I have you, Lloyd, and Ellie, Tio, and Randy, and so many others. I have friends like Shizuku, Ryu, and the others, even Sister Marble. I have fun every single day, but once in a while, I still feel like I'm all alone. Like I was when I was by myself at the bottom of that pitch black room. Kia. Hug. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I didn't want to bother you with all this. You're not bothering me, silly. Don't hold this in. You've wanted to say something for a while, haven't you? But you didn't want to, uh, to trouble us and give, a, give us even more worries when we were also down from the SSS work. Listen to me, Kia. You couldn't be more wrong. You needing us isn't a burden. Simply taking care of you makes us all happier. You give us the strength to keep our heads held high and continue doing what we do, even when times are difficult. So don't hold these things in. I promise you that, at the very least, I will always be here for you, Kia. Aww. I don't know whether to call this a brother-sister moment or a father-daughter moment. Thank you. But you shouldn't promise things like that, you know? How will you ever uh, find yourself a wife? I heard that men with kids have a harder time finding dates. Just where are you learning these things? Wait, don't tell me you've been reading books about that kind of thing at the library. Hmm, I don't remember. Maybe I picked it up from talking to people in this city. That or you really are studying too much. Anyway, I'm still not ready to get married. My brother was 25 when he was supposed to get married. Your brother? That's right, he passed away, didn't he? Yeah, but that's all in the past. Still, I still have seven years to go until I'm, uh, I'm that age. I can think about getting married once I can stand on my own two feet. I mean, I haven't even found the uh, right partner. Seven years from now, how old would that make me? The doctor said you're about nine years old right now, so that would make you 16. You'll be two years older than Tio is right now. Hmm, will I be old enough to get married? What? No matter how you slice it, 16 is way too young for a girl to be thinking about marriage. I mean, technically, the legal age is 16 if you have the consent of the guardian. No, what am I saying? I would never allow someone to marry you that soon. Huh? That's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> but I get it. In that case, there's nothing for me to worry about, right? Nothing at all. Come on, it's time to head to the theme park. Haven't you been looking forward to it all day? <laughs> I promised Shizuku that I would tell her all about it when we get back. We also swore that when her eyes are healed, we'd come together to play too. Oh really? That means we have to have as much fun as possible today. That way you'll have even more to tell her about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 